very fundamental problem where we have two masses m1 and m2 that are connected with a spring we need to find what is the frequency of the oscillations so if you ex have the extension of x in the spring you can naturally just imagine that initially the center of mass is at rest so both the blocks will be performing shm about their own equilibrium positions and the amplitudes of each of these masses will also be different and the sum of their amplitudes will be x so this way if we try to do the problem is very complicated so it's better to analyze it with respect to one of the masses because then if you keep this mass at if you if you are analyzing with respect to m1 let's say then the extension in m2 is x so that simplifies our problem so let's do that so let the extension in the spring be x with respect to ground so because we are going to analyze it with respect to m1 we need to find what is the acceleration of m1 so the forces on the both the blocks will be kx and acceleration of m1 therefore is kx by m1 so now when we analyze with respect to m1 pseudo force on m2 will be m2 times a1 that is m2 times kx by m1 in the opposite direction and the original force is of course kx so with respect to m1 extension in m2 is x even though the actual extension in m2 with respect to ground is less than x and we don't know what is its value so it's better to do it in this way so we save one calculation here if we have to analyze it with respect to ground so with respect to m1 we don't need to worry about anything let's just proceed with x so restoring force on 2 so again with respect to 1 is equal to sum of these two forces so you can see this comes as a function of x so this is this force is m to a so a comes to be this into x so this is omega square so hence omega is root of this our answer now this omega we got with respect to m1 but we know omega is same in all reference frames so hence our answer is valid all right